I swear to God, even when my daughter, you, you know, you know, when my daughter wears these, they look absolutely cool on her. Um, you should have seen her on the weekend when we went to uh, Philip Island and essentially she, you know, she was really cool. Everybody was like, oh my God, you're so cute. Uh, what's happening there? But I thought I would be as cute as she is and wear these glasses and only to realize that they don't suit me and they don't look any good at on me you know why because now i look like i've taken all the drugs anyway uh more on that later but thank you so much for tuning in guys my name is prosper Tarovinga, and i see rose has just tuned in uh there's a whole lot of other people that tuned in while i was wearing my glasses there um as the normal thing is we sit around here for 30 minutes and talk about how i can help you earn a lot more money doing what you're already doing without a lot of struggle okay i own a digital marketing agency where we help um online business people like yourself to market scale and grow their business while you're packaging all your services so that you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable wouldn't that be nice great stuff yes rose thank you so much for tuning in um i was just saying you know what you know um, you would understand this analogy um over the weekend you know my my little girl was wearing these sunnies and i was looking at her and i was like oh my god that's a that's a really cool kid there and i was getting all the compliments etc so i thought i'd wear them and look cool as well but Look at this. They don't suit me. They're too small. I can't even see through them. And that's exactly what's happening to your marketing. That's exactly what's happening to your business right now. Because, because you are looking at what worked with somebody else's business, yet it doesn't work for your own business. All right. What worked or what you heard one time worked for somebody else is not a real business strategy and is not going to work for you or the way that you actually do your business all right so that's the reason why we really want to get down to the nitty-gritty of this um you know topic today because at the end of the day you might see in your news feed somebody saying oh okay i did um you know i just put these leads through this funnel and all of a sudden they converted okay or i took this lead magnet and then i gave it to this kind of people and then they looked at it and then they were now climbing all over each other to buy my stuff it doesn't work like that nobody's telling you about the amount of hours they put in nobody's telling you about the teams they have behind the scenes nobody's telling you about the graphic designers they have in their, their portfolio nobody's telling you about um you know the the support that they have from their family nobody's telling you about the prior experience that they have there are laws to these things all right there's laws that govern any human uh, activity there's laws that govern any human interaction and if you're not following these laws and just following just because somebody said it worked for me then you're headed for disaster my friend okay so what you heard the one time that it actually worked for somebody that's not how business is business and that just doesn't work like that rose says i don't have a team but i'm up until 4 30 a.m lol working exactly right no you don't tell people that you're up until 4 30. they just see the product finished they just see you presenting they just see all the equipment that you have but nobody knows the amount of work that actually happens behind the box so before you actually start maybe thinking or looking at things outside your own realm or things that you cannot control you really gotta look inside and go down to the core of what business actually is and how to actually create and relate for the people that you want to get money from. All right, Trish, if I was, I would just walk in like Kramer, but hey, as there's the carpet in here causes for friction, okay? So what I'm just trying to say is, you want to do you, you want to stay in your lane. The reason being, look at my fingers right now. All right, no, finger is the same height okay there's never going to be a chance that if ross does this uh elisha is going to get the same result if matthew does this um you know winston or john or trish is going to get the same result all right you need to take stock of where you are who you are what you have and where you want to go 
All right. Just because somebody said, okay, I, um, you know, I, 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 I took, I just wrote a little postcard and I was sending it to people and I, I got this certain result. That does not mean that you are going to get that same result. Elisha, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this one is going to be beneficial for you as well. All right. Obviously, we've heard all of those stories. I don't want to lie. You know, there's some random or there's some famous entrepreneur that probably started, what is it called? Snapchat. And in six months, they made 300000 And then all of a sudden, you haven't heard about Gary V. And you start watching his videos and you think he was an overnight success. All right? Or there's somebody else who's just done a Facebook Live and says, Oh my God, oh my God, I just made 6 K. I I just made six whatever profit. And thousands of people are watching that. You know why? Because they're pulled in by that shiny object. But... What is happening behind the scenes? Nobody knows. He's not going to tell you that he was sleeping on the couch. He's not going to tell you that he had to eat uh, ramen noodles to get to where he is. He's not going to tell you that he was he cleaned dishes at some point because he couldn't afford the re restaurant bill. They're not going to tell you that. And it doesn't mean that what he's going to give you is going to be the surefire thing if you don't or go through the same process that he went through. There's laws to this thing, guys. There is laws to this thing. All right. You might hear about an entrepreneur who went about selling books, but then he couldn't sell them. And then eventually he just forgot his book in the car wash. And then, you know, a large CEO of a company read it and then he loved it. And then all of a sudden they ordered a thousand books. That's not going to happen to you. Yeah, that's not going to happen to you every single day. You see me showing up every day for 30 minutes. This is how I'm building my business. And I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for the person who's going to realize and say, boy, this guy put in the work. And to, to, to be frank, what I'm talking about now is probably from a book that I read a year ago. So if you are not putting in the pre-game, the pre-workout, whatever it is for you to actually now start getting results, you cannot send there and say, oh, you know, Uber stole my idea or Airbnb stole my idea because you're not implementing at the same record length as what that person is, is, has done to get those results. I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, if you are not operating or you're not vibrating at a level of which people are saying, my God, how does that guy do that? You're not working hard enough. And don't expect that if I tell you that this is going to work, it's actually going to translate into money or translate into something that's going to work in your business. All right. So you, 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 you can't say that just because entrepreneur X was sitting up until 4.30, like what Ross is doing, answering questions on Quora, and then all of a sudden he's starting to make uh, six figures. You are going to just sit until 4.30 a.m. answering questions on Quora, and then you get the same result. It don't work like that. Like I said, each one has a different role. Each one has a different, um, you know, way they were brought up. Each one has a different and unique way to do things. But the laws are fundamentally the same. You got to have a message that goes to a market. The media can vary. Okay, um, I, I, I can say all these things. There's laws in nature that whatever goes up has to come down unless you're in space. You know what I mean? There's laws in physics. Um, apparently, what do they say? Anything that's been hit in motion would should perpetuate. I, I never studied physics, but you get what I'm trying to say. Even this guy, what is his name? Murphy. Murphy even has his own laws. And we are governed by certain laws of cause and effect. What you put in is what you get out. Not what somebody tells you, that's how they did it. Because how they did it, who they did it with, and how they actually then managed to tip over, that's, that is them. It's how they were built. You know, you, you never know. Maybe they had to sell their hair to get that extra $50 so that they can actually manage to pay for those ads. You know? You never know what they had to sell because if they're going to tell you that this lead magnet is actually going to make you get money and you sit there and you'll be like, wow. I'm here to tell you guys that what you've heard one time worked with somebody else is not a real business strategy. 
It's their grit. It's what they put in because what you get, what you put in is what you get out. Garbage in, garbage out. And at the end of the day, if you saw the post that I put out and I was talking about how you, if you try and do anything else, your body will, will re re react. You know, your body will, will re refuse to be a part of that. And it will give you, it won't be easy for any of the functions to work out. It will give you dis-ease. All right, so that's exactly how it happens with, with the way your brain is set up, with the way your, your business is set up, etc., etc. You know, the, the reason why I refuse to come here and talk about, you know, the exact thing that you have to do to your Facebook so that you actually get leads is because, you know what, Facebook is a media. All right, I want my content to be evergreen. I want that you can utilize this today, in 10 years, in 40 years, in a hundred years, maybe by that time, Facebook is not going to be, um, um, you know, relevant. So that's the reason why you got to know the fundamentals of why are you actually doing what you're doing? Does that sort of make sense? I know that I want you to earn money. I know that I want you to do it without the less struggle. And I know that I want you to get a lot more recognition than you're getting right now because the more people get to see your stuff, the more it converts, the more people want to do business with you. I want you to get the right opportunities. I want you to get the right um, deals to come through your way, but you're not going to get them if you're playing a small game. You're not going to get them if you're doing mediocre stuff and putting out mediocre content. And eventually, whenever somebody comes up and tells you, okay, listen, this is how I did it, that's fine, good for you, but no fingers are the same height. You do not know who else they used to, to move them or to actually uh, propel their message. Maybe they had one fan within them that actually posted it to a a bigger audience or they got interviewed on some podcast that then elevated their audience you can never pinpoint one single strategy or one single trick to millions or thousands of dollars i want you to show me right now there's never anything like that. It comes from the food that you're eating, the environment that you're living in. Are the people supportive? I put up a video another time when I was saying if the people that are around you are not supporting you, it's, it's not a good environment for you to flourish. Roses would never grow up in a garden that's full of weeds. Well, in, and if they do, they're not as healthy and as flamboyant as they're supposed to be. They're just mediocre. Right, so what one entrepreneur says, oh my God, this is where what I did. I just, um, all I did was, you know, I took a highlighter and then I highlighted a couple of words and people were climbing all over each other buying my stuff. And if you go in and do the same, how many other people have tried that? You gotta do you, present yourself to the world, to the world because you know why? That hasn't been seen. And Trish says, exposure is key. Get in front of as many eyeballs as possible. Talk to everyone and you never know who knows who and who needs what. Oh, that is absolutely right. The more you're not creating partnerships around yourself, around your products, the more you're not creating an ecosystem of people that will carry you from where you are to where you want to be. That's the reason why you're going to keep falling in for those shiny objects. Because you're not learning and seeing how other people are doing it. It's all good. It's all fine. But what one other person did, that's the reason why nobody can come up with a Facebook right now. That's the reason why nobody can come up with an Instagram. You know why? Because it's already been done. Look at all these people in history. I was, I was you know, trying to write them down. Um... Uh, who are they? Who are these people in history? Oh, okay. So we've got the Wright brothers. They went ahead and created a plane, but it wasn't just them. It wasn't Obert or whoever his brother was. They had a team behind them. But all we ever hear about is the Wright brothers. All right? We hear of Thomas Edison, you know, looking at um, uh, how he created the light bulb. Took 10,000 hours. And every time he tested it, it took one second for it to burst. Every 10,000 hours that he put into trying to create that light bulb, it took one second to just burst or not even work. So this is exactly how it translates to the internet today. 
You put in 10,000 hours just to get one second of somebody's eyeball for somebody to just swipe right and think you're not worth their time. So every 10,000 hours you're putting in, that equates to one second of attention. Now you gotta see how much work you're putting in, right? So it's not gonna be just one shiny object that comes in and all of a sudden, voila! You're like Prosper, you're like Gary, you're like Grand Cadon, you're like Oprah, you're like um, Bolt. No, 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 no. You really got to figure out where do I want to go? What are the rules in this game? And let me follow them. And don't be afraid to share what you're knowing and your knowledge on, on the way up. Because all we ever hear about is people like Christopher Columbus and how he discovered the United States. But was he the only one on that boat? Was he the only guy on that ship? Like all of a sudden he left wherever he came from and just by his lonesome is like, Hey, hey, sorry, Mr. Indian guy. I'm here to take everything here because I'm Columbus. Or what's his name? Uh, Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo. Did he just show up him himself in a shotgun and he's like, hey guys, I'm here to win this war. There's people behind, but all you then just hear is the one person, the one that is the loudest or the one that, you know, made the most contribution to that effect. So you got to make sure that when you're becoming the hero of your own story, you're not just following and listening. It's good to know so that you can avoid mistakes, but you can never replicate or take on somebody else's journey. If we really want to say, okay, let's do it the right way, Sir Richard Branson has got nothing to do with Virgin. He's got absolutely nothing to do with Virgin. Is he the pilot that flies the planes? Is he the, the air hostess that makes sure that the customers are treated well? Is he the guy who plays karate in front of a... Well, what do they do, those guys, <laughs> when they're playing karate in front of the um, in front of the plane so that it stops and threatening it, you know, with, with their things? I don't know what they're doing there. All right? So at the end of the day, who we celebrate the most is li li normally the person that normally just doesn't do the work. So all of these stories, it's a matter of exception. All right? It's not the rule of how things are done. There's certain fundamental rules. So you want to figure out what are the rules within your game and make sure you nail them to the T and dedicate the rest of your life to actually being the greatest in that unless you just want to be a one-hit wonder. You know, I see sometimes even if I can bring you back to the stuff that you watch every day, I don't normally follow trends on YouTube, but this one was a really good one. You know how people were putting a drill and putting maize and, you know, eating the maize cob like that. Apparently, you have to put the drill uh, to, to turn anti-clockwise, but I've seen a lot of people lose their teeth or their hair or something like that. You know why? Because they're trying to be something they're not. They're trying to, 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 to be the person that thinks it, it looks cool wearing a two-year-old's glasses. You know why? Because the two-year-old looked perfect and everybody was giving them compliments when, when, when that happened. All right? So the reason why I'm saying this is nothing is cookie cutter anymore. Your customers are also looking for different, um, you know, different sort of scenarios of how you can treat them. Um, and you really got to put out stuff that is personal, stuff that actually says that you know what you're talking about. All these stories may be all nice and sexy and very appealing, but you know, you want to try them because you want the same result, but building your business on traditional strategies that are going to withstand the test of time is a lot of time, is a lot of hard work, and it takes a whole lot longer. We're all on a journey, guys. All right. We're all on a journey. Nobody, nobody knows anything. If anything, the internet is only just like a teenager. We are all learning how it works. We're all learning the mistakes, etc., etc. So any other shiny object that comes my way, I'll just have a look at it and be like, mm, okay, that's cool. But I'll go back to building my business the way I can, the way my lane allows me with the height of my fingers. All right, because at the end of the day, we can all try and, 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 you know, build all these things and chase waterfalls. 
um, you know, I would just advise that just stick to the rivers and the and the rhythm that you're used to because some people can go faster and at the end of the day you get nothing at all if you if you keep chasing things that are not meant to be yours. Some things in life are just meant to teach you a lesson so that you know that either you're on the right track or you need to tweak here and there and not chasing waterfalls. I mean, right now it's July already and maybe some people are still struggling to start when their first um, you know, re New Year resolution was, hey, I need to start a business, etc., etc., and you're still just in the you know, information gathering mode. Until when are you going to keep doing that? You got to go in and implement. The only way you implement is when you actually put, you know, roll your sleeves and get your hands dirty. Yeah? Because at the end of the day, you know, all these stories might also not be, you know, I mean, I mean, it might not be exactly this, you know, you know, dismal as I'm trying to put it. But I guess you know what I'm talking about, right? We see and hear all these stories every day, uh, maybe in the social media and sometimes in the news, etc., etc. And, you know, you know when, when people start doing things that are outside the box and they get, you know, such a massive or impressive result, you know, these entrepreneurs all want you to believe that it will happen in exactly the same way as it happened with them. But you got to realize that what's not yours is not yours. The fact that you're sitting there listening to somebody else through something that you bought, that somebody else created, it means you also have an opportunity to create something of your own, but there is just fundamental rules that you've got to follow. And so far, I might be wrong, I might not be, um, you know, right, but at the end of the day, I find out that if you don't have a message, and if that message is not going to any particular market, Whatever you're going to go out and about on YouTube, on Snapchat or whatever, if your message is not sticking to a market, you are still going to be trading and just peddling your wheels and going nowhere fast. All right. At the end of the day, all you got to be doing is creating and relating to the market that you really want to reach out to. The reason being, right, when somebody wants to make a decision, they got to see you eight, six to eight times so that they then make that, um, you know, uh, decision to make a purchase. And during that time, you need to make sure that you are feeding them with all that content so that during that time, they get to know, like, and trust you. All right? It might take six years. It might take, um, you know, five years. It might take two years. Whichever way, just make sure every single day you wake up, you're out there creating and relating because you're starting somebody else's journey as they go along. The first time that somebody gets to see your stuff, that's when their cycle starts and they need to see it eight more times. That's the reason why Coca-Cola or McDonald's, you got to see their adverts every single time, um, you know, I mean, six to seven times every single day. You know, I put the, the whole shiny object syndrome to... Um, I'll put it also in everyday uh, reality. You know that song by Beyonce? What is it called? Um, somebody type it in. That song by Beyonce. What is it called? S single ladies, is it? Is it called single? Yeah, all the single ladies or something like that. Right. So that song by uh, Beyonce, all the single ladies. And you would see all the ladies that are broke, all the ladies that are tired, all the ladies that have nobody who's taking them home or going home to nobody. And they're really, really, um, you know, they, nobody is looking at them. Their makeup is running down. When that song plays, it's usually the last song in the club when, when I used to go to the clubs. And you see all those girls singing, put your hands up, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, right? But where does Beyonce go to? Beyonce is not single. She goes home to Jay-Z. All right, and then you're stuck, you, the single lady, by yourself, you, 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 maybe with broken shoes in the club, and you're holding them on your, with the, with, with them, you know, with, um, you're holding them on your way back home with, with, with nothing to show for it. Yeah? Beyonce is there making millions. Oh, the single ladies. Oh, the single ladies. Oh, the single ladies. And then she goes back home to Jay-Z. And there you think, oh, we're, we're together, we're in the, we click, she gets me. No, she don't. She's sitting in millions. 
She just did that because she knows what you want to hear that particular time. And that's exactly what all these business people and entrepreneurs are doing with their coachings or with their trainings or anything else. They're calling out to all the single entrepreneurs, come over, come over to my group, etc., etc. This is how I did it. Oh, stuff in the club, whatever, whatever. And then when you're done, when you've paid, your shoes are broken, people have thrown you out of the club because you were being obnoxious because that's the only coolest time you had to be in the club. When the song done, Beyonce collects her check, goes back home to be Jay-Z and Ivy. She's got a perfect relationship that nobody, everybody envies. She's not a single lady. She just wrote that song because she knew you would listen to it and that's it. And it was a limited time only, wasn't it? Shiny object it was. Right, so be careful. You want to bet on you, bet on your strengths. Make sure that you're putting in everything that you can. Study it against how you perceive your lane to be and who you want to be eventually. That way, you're not going to have a lot of heartaches. That way, you're not going to have a lot of um, expectations. Your expectations are not going to give you stress. You know why? Because you know you're playing the long game. All right? Because I think with the platform I now have, I have to be a voice of reason. These things don't become, they just don't work because something came in. There's a lot of money time and effort that goes into testing all these things, testing every single thing, it, especially when something is new and somebody already has a product for it. What proof do they have? Who do they, who do they consult? I, I know we live in a parallel universe. Maybe they, they've already got you know, results from the future, but I don't think the internet is that advanced. All right? What has worked before will continuously work. Look at every other business, the way it's set up, whichever way it is, there's usually a message that goes with it to a market that's ready to buy those things. If you don't have those things ready, if you don't have your pitch, if you don't have, you know, a solid profile, if you don't have, you know, a solid idea. And a market that's ready to actually receive that idea and make use of it and maybe reciprocate that with money, then I think you gotta sit down and start figuring out how to monetize your message, how to monetize what you already know into a part, you know, or package it in such a way that you know other people will be ready to reciprocate that. You know? We all hear about these success stories about um, you know, I'll I'll talk about one, especially with Bill Gates. Bill Gates, um, you know, started off putting out content at his college. Nobody talks about these stories. He was writing content about for his nerd friends. Up until then, that's how he gathered momentum. Otherwise, nobody would have known about him. Yeah, and then we've got Steve, Steve Jobs, his story about going into typography class and um, also his story about writing a letter to the CEO of IBM so that, you know, he could get parts for I think it was some some mechanism and eventually he got hired to come and work at IBM for all we know he could have stolen all those ideas from IBM and then he went in because he was faster he was a hippie and then he put them out there so that's the reason why I'm saying perception guys if my two-year-old looks cool in these glasses that does not mean I'm gonna be the same but you must admit they they really they suit me do they but I can't see through them. I hope I don't break them as well. All right. So, guys, at the end of the day, I really want you to win. Um, the reason why I want you to watch these videos or either share them or be amongst this whole energy right now is we're going through a shift, guys. All right. We're going through um, a shift where it was the industrial age and we're going into or we're already into the information age and there's going to be pioneers there's going to be people that say oh we were here first but we're all going in at the same time just because you're in business class on a flight it doesn't mean you're arriving faster than anybody else all right or if you are in um if you are in um you know emerge uh, what do you call it if you are in um I don't even know what they call it. <laughs> the rest of the, the flight, you know, it doesn't mean you're going to reach any slower. All right. Just make sure you stay in your lane. You do what really feels good for you. And you use trusted methods that actually are working in within your industry. All right. Everybody else is trying to do it their own way. They're not going to tell you the exact 
results. We all heard about these stories. Why can we not get yet another Jesus? Why can we not get yet another Napoleon? Why can we not get yet another uh, Steve Jobs? Why can we not get yet another Mark Zuckerberg? You can't duplicate what's inside there or what's inside there. All right. You can get access to it, but you got to input and then garbage in, garbage out. I really hope this one was a good one. I don't know who I was speaking to, but you heard me. All right. Share this video. Bye for now.